Imagine you're handicapped with blah 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 and the blah blah blah. You'll be handicapped will be changed to 12.1. Jeremy Tattersall. Right then, Jeremy. Let's find out what this is all about. My name's Jeremy Tattersall. I am the chair of handicap and competitions at Berison Urban Golf Club. Our handicaps are governed by Kongu. And as a result of that, we have to conduct an annual review. So once a year, we go through the handicaps, we look at people's playing records, just to assess and see whether their handicap is a true reflection of their playing ability. The reason that's important is because if people's handicaps are too high or too, too low, then what will happen is when competitions are played, that will negatively affect the result and everybody else's handicap. So it's our responsibility to make sure they're okay. Your handicap was 13.1 and we cut it to 12.1 if I remember. There is a popular misconception about people's playing ability in that every time they go out they should get 36 points at Stableford. Um, if you look at the annual review report, that shows something called a net differential. And interestingly, off my handicap of 12, that net differential is about four and a half shots. So what that means is that for me to play statistically to my handicap or where they would expect me to be, I should be shooting in the region of about 16 and a half shots over my handicap. So if you're consistently scoring under that in the buffer zone, then you're playing better than you should and so you qualify for a, sh uh, for a cut. We're only allowed to do a cut of one shot or more. Anything else you think people need to know about the handicap system? <laughs> well, the handicap system is changing. Um, at the moment, the projection is for November two th uh, 2020, although that might be delayed further. We'll know more about that in the year. On the new system, it will be an average of the best date of your last 20 scores. So the more scores that you register, be that with supplementary cards or competitions, then the more accurate your, the reflection of, of your handicap will be. Does that make sense? Yeah. At the moment, it's worked out based on almost an average of your, of your playing ability in the near past. In the future, it will be a more accurate reflection of the way you're playing now rather than what's happened. I mean, in my handicap, I haven't got that many competition cards. I do about seven a year. So on the new system, my handicap will be based on something that's happened over the last sort of four years. Whereas in the new one, I can, I can submit cards in general play as well as competition cards. So hopefully it'll be a more accurate reflection of your ability. So there you go. Hope that gives you a better idea of the handicap system here in the UK. Oh. Does it? Yes? Yes? yes. And why the need for the handicap review is so important. So for me personally, it was just that I'd played to my handicap and around in my buffer zone so many times that warranted the cut. It's just a report that gets printed based on variants of play throughout everybody at the club against the benchmark set from the thousands and thousands of rounds that they have in their database for each given handicap category. So I hope that helps. A happy new year to everybody. This was an awesome Christmas present and means obviously that I can go out now and buy some new clubs. So if you wouldn't mind doing all the YouTube type stuff, subscribe, like, bell, all the fun things. I'll see you down here on the channel. Really soon. Bye bye.